of light and blessings. Happy, happy February 1st. Happy February 1st, 2021. First day of 29 days of Melanated Excellence. So last year I did a 29 days of Melanated Excellence, which celebrated, the theme of it was to celebrate Black History Month. Today's the first day of Black History Month. Last year was a leap year, so there was 29 days. And the theme was spiritualists and spiritual people that contributed to spirituality. So what black people, what melanated people uh, contributed to the ATRs to spirituality. So it was 29 videos based on that topic. This year's theme, okay, and 29 days of Melanated Excellence 2021, is going to be from February 1st to March 1st. That way we have 29 days, okay? And this year's theme is going to be the ATRs, African Traditional Religious Practices, or at least the practices that I participate in that are part of my path and lineage and things of that nature, um, various topics, things that I've been wanting to talk about, they really get to talk about. You're gonna have videos from me every single day from very short to maybe very long videos um, in celebration of Black History Month. So this year's topic is African traditional religious practices of the diaspora, okay? So stay tuned to that, guys, and I hope you enjoy. So today's video is going to be um, a January's check-in okay um video and i'm going to show you like my favorite things that i got in the month of january of 2021 as well as i'm going to be making a second video today so you're going to get two videos two videos today for february 20 february 1st 2021 okay the second video is going to be talking about orishas okay and what exactly are orishas so stay tuned to those two videos that I'm going to be recording today and hopefully downloading on my channel okay so let's start with this video so I haven't felt really much like posting haul videos lately okay um, because you know I understand that there are some people in dire financial situations and I never want to come off as if I'm showing off so I usually try to do haul videos for the purpose like if there's something that I want to share with you about my practice something that I feel that you guys can learn from and so on and so forth um, so this is what basically the January 2020 21 video is going to be the check-in video is going to be about um, some new things that I got this month and out of those new things what are my favorites and in what way do I use them I want to start with something I did not buy this month um, I got some wonderful client gifts and I love everything that I got but this my friend is one of my favorite my little skeleton I've been using her since I got her from a wonderful client along with some other wonderful things of course but this is my favorite um, I drink coffee and tea in her um, anytime I'm doing some type of, of reading or uh, reading one of my books or studying or anything like that. I have my coffee cup in my hand or I drink my tea. And speaking of tea, one of the teas that have been my favorite for January 2021 has been my third eye chakra tea. Okay, my it's really good tea. It has... Um, this one comes with, oh, I believe, 18 bags. So I drink this tea maybe once to twice a week. That's it. Um, just to kind of revamp my third eye chakra. Okay. And what I like about this particular company as well um, is that every time you buy this tea, are, they actually have a campaign because they they're a sustainable company. So they actually plant a tree, okay? So they work with the National Forest Foundation, okay, to help plant thousands of trees each year. So they give back whenever they can. So for what they use, they like to put back. They're a sustainable company. So I love those kinds of things, you know, paying Mother Nature back. Um, it's a great tea, like I said. Um, it has eye bright, organic spearmint leaf, organic star anise, uh, seed organic passion flower so and it has a really nice taste to it too so I like it um, I do have my own psychic blend tea that I do drink as well but I do like to drink like I said this tea specifically once or twice a week so I love that tea 
It's been my favorite of the month. I've been drinking that tea for a while, but I've rarely been drinking it this month. I've been working a lot with my solar plexus chakra and my third eye this month. Um, and when I'm drinking my tea, I like to light incense. These are my three most used incense, which you can see they're completely empty. So Ruda, so Ru, I am obsessed. Sorry. I am obsessed with Ru. Incense sticks, herbs, all that good stuff. Spiritual baths, all that good stuff. Um, another herb that I'm obsessed with, whether it's incense form, cone form, or just regular plain herb form, is eucalyptus. So this has been used. I've been using uh, eucalyptus a lot for healing. Um, this has been a very emotional month, um, January, um, both in politics and real life and everything. Um, so a lot of healing this month. And I've been sick too, so physical healing as well. Rule for connecting with the ancestors. Um, and using my white sage incense as well. So these are done. These are these three are the most used for January 2021. Um, another thing that I've been doing, so I do use Novena candles, but I also use a lot of chime candles in my daily and spiritual practice and client work and spell work and things like that. So I don't only use Novena candles. I use all types of candles. And one of the main ones that I use outside of Novena candles, so your nine day candles, is chime candles. Um, I bought these and I've been using the heck out of them. These are the three most used colors that I use in my practice that I've been using the most in January, as you can see. Okay, I use a lot of purple. So I went and bought uh, three packs they come 20 each okay of these purple chime candles i use chime candles uh the color purple for many things not just for third eye um but for protection work domination work love work attraction work or just to even honor deity so i use it for a lot of different types of working so use a lot of that purple is very highly used in my practice as well as black okay so i had to refill i got all this from amazon this is the uh candle charisma company it says birthday candles but they're actually chime candles they're nice and big okay um and i got the these red one they're four inch tall they burn for two hours an hour and a half um and i got the reds okay so these are the candles that i that I got in the month of January because I've been using them the most and I love using red um, Red is not just love work guys. You can do protection work because you could do banishment. You could do a lot of stuff with red. So um, I use the dual even pink is like love and light or universal love. I use pink in both the right and left handed So I I use colors in dual for dual purposes. Okay, as well as herbs I can use roses in a nice way and I could use rose in a defensive way. So that's how I, I see everything in life. Um, also, I bought, I've been using a lot of food coloring in my practice. Money rice, okay. I, a great um, a great addition to when you make your own conjure oil. If you want to add a little color to your oils. I've been really annoyed, enjoying that this month. So. so yeah, so, you know, putting some color magic into my stuff. So that's been fun um these are also good to add a little color to your little conjure oils you're gonna do a little hulu lamp or something like that so i've been enjoying doing of that this month as well so those have been really cool tools to work with um i also bought magic clay clay why clay you may ask the clay is because let me see if you can see me is because it's a great 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 uh you can make poppets or in my case hoodoo dolls or voodoo dolls or spirit you know you use these for spiritual magic um this is modeling clay so you can even make candle holders with this i like to use it to make um so a lot of people use figure candles which i do use too but i also like to make my own tools and I do like to make my own uh, voodoo dolls and things like that. So some of them are clay, some of them I sew. Um, I make different types of voodoo dolls for my practice. I use them a lot in my practice. Um, same thing, 
right and left handed work. Um, so yeah, so that's that's what I'm using that for. Again, you could even make uh, sigils, uh, pent pentagrams with that. You can make candle holes. You know, I use it for the specific purpose of making voodoo dolls with them. So, um, and then I bought these, which I'm planning to put around the house. Um, the evil eye. So I cannot wait. Let me take one out just so we can look at it. Um, and I bought a set of four from Amazon, less than $20, so it's very reasonably priced. Um, and literally, you can hang these up. It has the little, there you go, it has the string where you can hang it up. Okay, I'm going to fix that bow. We're going to fix that bow, girl, because that's not cute. Or I might even take the bow out. Nobody got, yeah, okay. See, it's cute. So nice thick glass nice size I'm gonna be hanging this out around my sacred spaces to kind of put in that protection um, one of them my daughter's gonna get because she's she asked me for one in her ultra space and stuff so I have three I'm gonna keep and get for the fourth one but these are nice I got them for like I think $12 on Amazon Ooh -hoo, don't want to break it now um, yeah, so I got these, you know, for $12 on Amazon. So I'm going to be blessing and charging them. And I also got new uh, evil eye bracelet. One for my daughter and one for me. When she goes out into the working world. And I think these were like t less than $10. Um, because my red one is like all stretching out already. So, um, one of my other favorite things in the month of January was a wonderful, 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 wonderful trade that i had with my friend we're having a blizzard this weekend but when the blizzard is done because i was going to actually mail her stuff out but it has not stopped snowing since sunday here in pennsylvania and we're in a state of emergency right now so i'm going to be um i had to spend my saturday like stocking up our food um we're going to be um i'm going to be sending her package out this week so but i want to show you what she sent me Okay, because I am doing a deaf year, as you guys know. I'm going to be uh, putting some money that I would usually spend on decks and things like that into working with a charity. I'm working with a, with some children, um, specifically two right now. Um, so when you guys book readings with me, a certain percentage of that is going into me giving back to our community. Um, I'm working with two children from Haiti, um, trying to make sure that they go to school and they have the uniforms and they have three meals a day and you know that their family is able to send them to school and things of that nature and I love knowing that the money goes to the actual people so I have two children that two families so two separate children and two separate families that I'm um, working with to help and so that's what I'm going to be doing in 2021 so it's really exciting being that I feel like I'm doing it in honor of my grandfather, who is of Haitian, of, of Haitian descent. And so, you know, I want to do that for him. So, but anyway, she gave me three decks. Okay. The first one is the Moonology Oracle cards. Um, I might do a future walkthrough of these decks um, in the future, but you guys probably seen this deck anyways, but I have loved working with this. I have so far... Um, use this at times within my um, client readings um, and for myself too so it, it does read well but I I find with this deck I have to be in the mood to read with it right it's one of those decks that I don't use every day but when I use it I get really great amazing readings with it so I have really been enjoying working with this deck this is the back um, of the deck and again I've actually really been enjoying um, working with this deck and it's the Monology Monology Oracle card so it, it's a great reader I have actually liked working with it um, and things like that um, I find it to be a deck that I feel is really great for um, when it comes to me wanting to channel my inner emotions or something like that so um, the next one she gave me was The Sacred Destiny by Denise Lynn. 
Um, I also love this deck as well. Um, it's been a great deck to work with. This one, this is the gorgeous backs, which I like. Like, I want to be in this picture. Um, I've used this one to work, like, to do readings for myself, too. Um, and talking about reading, so, so I have really, really, really come to the conclusion that I really don't like, uh, I don't know. I don't really like those, like, spiritual counseling readings for myself. Um, I find that I just like to do prediction reading. So when I want to look into my business, what direction should I head into? Uh, what should I do? Um, you know, everyday life, that kind of thing. That's what I like to read myself for. So I'll do that and then I'll maybe pick up one of these cards and journal, journal with it and see what it has to do with my week. So maybe I might do a weekly reading. By weekly reading is what I've been doing. Um... And so I'll pull like three cards, an oracle card, like nothing fancy, and I'll journal and see if like my predictions for the week comes through and, you know, how does the cards resonate with the message and things like that. But um, anything deeper than that, it's not really my thing. Like, I get, I don't know why, like it, I, it never really was, to be honest. Um, I never used to read for myself unless I was predicting for myself. Or going to someone for those types of readings so for me personally that's like the only readings I like to do and I don't really like reading myself all the time I don't know if that's because I work with tarot on a full-time basis and I read for so many other people so I'm using my decks constantly anyways um, I don't know I just don't really read myself a lot or am drawn to being read a lot if that makes sense so I do read myself sparingly but I don't do one card a day or it just, it was a time that I liked doing that. I don't enjoy doing that. So, and to be honest, there's been times I've gone like three weeks without be reading. Like, you know, so like last month I rarely read myself. This month, I think I did like two readings in January. That's it. So, yeah. Um, the next one she gave me was the Queen of the Moon Oracle. This one, I love the other two Oracle decks that she gave me. Um, this one, like I said, I like it more for clients. But I have read myself with it. This one I like more for myself. Like, it's great for a personal reader. And this one, I'm going to tell you. Let me tell you guys. Hold on one second so I can show you. Okay, so this deck I do like, okay? And this is your Queen of the Moon. Okay, so this deck I do like. Sorry, I was checking on. I'm making tea, so I just wanted to make sure. Um, this deck, when I started working with it, I fell in love. This is the backs. Um, I love reading myself and clients. So out of all the decks that she gave me, this one is my favorite. Oh my God, the artwork in it and the, the types of readings, like the messages that I get with it, I love. I think I love this deck because I used to really love Colin Barrett Reed's uh, Colinette, I think, or Colin... Yeah, Baron reads a uh, deck a lot, but when she made the like the Goddess Oracle and the Good Tarot for personal reasons, I just stopped supporting her work. No offense. Um, and so basically, I ended up gifting those decks, and I no longer own any of her decks. So I think because this is a similar art style or something like that. Um, I think that's why I love this deck so much. So it's by Stacy DeMarco. I love this deck so much. Like it really uh, speaks to my intuition, my spirits, whatever you want to call it. My higher self, if you will. Um, I love reading myself and clients with this. Um, I actually have done complete readings with just this deck by itself for me personally. I'm not saying that that's going to happen to you, but um, it's, oh my goodness, like, I love it. Um, there's diversity in here, but I just love it. Like, I la 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 love this deck. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful addition to, like, I never even heard of this deck, and she gave it to me, my, my YouTube friend, and we did an exchange and everything, and I love it, so... <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at the look at that. Like, I don't know. Like the artwork itself just really speaks to me. I don't know. I love it. Like I said, this, I mean, I'm not saying you need to get it or anything. 
I'm just saying for me personally, uh, this deck really does speak to me. So, oops. There we go. Look at it. It's just... It's gorgeous. It is like OMG. You know? Just. Mm. I'm gonna stop bothering you guys with. Okay, okay. We're done, we're done. Because I'm. I'm gonna, I actually do wanna do a walkthrough of this one, so. And that's the. Queen of the Moon Oracle. Like I said, I love it. You can see how bold. I, I haven't stopped. I haven't stopped working with it since she gave it to me. There's another deck that I love that she also exchanged with me, and I need to show it to you guys. I'm gonna pause the video because it's not in this pile. I notice. Okay, so be right back. Okay, so the Finn the Cicle Kipper. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. The Kipper deck. So. She gave me this one too. I'm going to be honest, I have never, ever kept, and it's nothing against the artist, please understand that, any deck created by this artist, and this one I am going to actually keep. Um, i actually been able to work with it. It has beautiful gilding. Um, this is the bags. I actually, because I love Kipper, so I actually love this deck. It is wonderful. Sorry if my phone goes off. I have a lot of clients that contact me, email me, things like that. So I'm actually creating this video before I start my reading. So it's approximately 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I live. Uh, so it's around dinner time. We had an early dinner. And the kids are settled, and so I just wanted to make this quick video. We're going to have a snow day tomorrow, so they're going to close the schools down. But yes, I love this deck. I will be doing walkthroughs of all these decks in the future, but oh, look at the child card. She's so cute. I love her. Uh-huh. And look at the gift card. Oh, and look at this pathway card. Anyways, like I was saying, I love this deck, so... I've used this deck on clients and myself, and uh, so far I love it. So I have another deck that I showed, another Kipper deck, so this will be my second one, but I love this one too, so I've been using this one more than the other one now. And last but not least, when it comes to decks, this deck I did not purchase, so these all were given to me, and this one I purchased in last year. So when I said I wasn't buying any more decks in 2021, I am correct. Uh, with the exception that I bought someone a gift, I bought a gift for a friend. Uh, well, it's not really a gift. It was, I bought a deck in exchange for these. Yeah. Because, yeah. Anyways, moving on. It's another story for another day. But this is the Groovy Weight Tarot. This is an indie deck. I have used it. I did use it um, when I got it last month. I was using it towards the ending of uh, December and that kind of thing so i love it love it love it and i used it in a little bit in the beginning of january as well so this is a deck that i did use in the month of january okay so if you got readings with me this month i was using the groovy weight and i love it it has since been put in order i will be doing a walkthrough of this deck i love this deck to death okay like, I like this one better than the um, Trip and Weight. I like this one better. There is diversity in this. So this is like my dream deck, okay? It's psychedelic. It's um, colorful. It's right of weight um, with a little, you know, its own little spin to the right of weight. And like I said, um, there's some diversity in here. I don't know if this is Tina and Ike here, if that's what it's supposed to be, or Lionel Richie and his wife, or but Lionel Richie will be in the 80s, right? 
So this might be actually Tina Turner and Ike Turner. I think, yeah, I think that's who that's supposed to be. That's what I was thinking. Oh my goodness, look at this moon card, guys. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> look at this judgment card. She's a green lady. She's like an alien lady. Oh my, look at the world card. I love the fro. Yes. Love the fro's. Oh my goodness, this deck is so gorgeousness. Just the coloration of this deck, guys. Look at it. It is gorgeousness, people. Anyways, I love this deck, people. It is amazing. It is amazing. It is a beautiful deck. It is a beautiful, beautiful right away clone deck, guys. It is fabuloso. Like I said, it has some diversity in it. Um, it's just beautiful. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. We're gonna, hello. I love it so much. Just look at all this beautiful. I love this two of swords too. Oh my goodness. And one of my favorite, look at this three of swords. Okay. Look at this three of swords. But I love it. I read, oh my goodness. I love, love reading with this deck. And, like, the clients love the visual of it. Like, I know that's the Ten of Swords, but, like, come on, man. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Queen of Swords. This reminds me of, like, Rainbow Bright or, like, She-Ra. The new She-Ra has, like, that 80s, very rainbowy type of... I love rainbows. <laughs> I love very colorful things. So, And this is the backs of the cards, and this is your groovy weight. I will be doing a walkthrough of this. This deck, I love it, love it, love it. Like, I bought it last year. It took forever for me to get it. I believe I got it, like, I think I got it right before New Year's Day, if I'm not mistaken, or, like, after New Year's, something like that. So, either the ending of December or the beginning of January, but I had ordered it, um... Maybe October. It took a couple of months to get to me. So, because this deck is uh, an independently made deck. And um, I did buy the tracking. I recommend you do that because you will be like freaking out about where your deck is. Because it is international shipping. Um, I got this deck from the UK actually. So, yeah. So, I got this deck from Europe. So, this is the pouch that I keep it in. Because it doesn't look purple, but it is purple like the back. So, it matches. It's cute. But I love it. It is definitely a working deck for me. So, yeah. So, you'll be seeing a lot more of this deck in the future because I love the deck. I've been really crazy about showing it to you guys. Anyways, so that is the deck that I've been working with. I've been obsessed, too, with... These are in my reading altar now, my clear court pieces. Um, I've just been having so many, uh, like, dreams with working with clear quartz this month. Um, and I've also put, instead of a glass candle, um, I've been drawn to start putting my selenite candle holder back in my altar. So, um, just a lot of clear quartz in my altar, um, on my decks. And also every deck that I have inside of my, my working decks, because there's six of them, okay, that I'm going to be working with this year. Um, they all have selenite little wands in the pouches, but... I will make a video in the future about the six decks that I will be working with in 2021 as far as working decks, which are the decks I work with the most. So I will be doing a video on that, maybe in March or something. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But um, This year's themes of my decks are, and I have actually found some really great um, right away Smith clone decks. For those of us that like more traditional decks and things like that, um, they do have some diversity in them, uh, racial diversity and things like that. So I will be sharing that with you guys in the future, okay? So those are the like the six main decks. Well, the six main decks I'm working with, five of them are diverse, okay? So, yeah. And then one of them is not, but I love it, and I'm okay with that. So, But most of them are, so that's... Um, either they're diverse or they exclusively feature melanated people. So really exciting. So I will be showing you guys that. So a lot of my old favorites have actually changed. I'm excited to work with those decks in the future. 
and see what that brings in 2021. So this has been my favorites in January. Um, it's been a lot of self-love, working within, and um, seeing the things that work with me in my practice and things that don't, um, seeing where I want to take my business, uh, different directions and things. So a lot of self-work. I've been slowly coming back to YouTube when it comes to watching other people's videos. So I'm excited about that. Sorry about my hair today, but... It is what it is. We're having like a snowstorm. I've been home with the kids all day doing remote schooling. And uh, my hair is just not, it's just in one of those days. Like it's just not working. Anyways, much love, much light, much blessings. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until the next video, guys. Bye.